guys, this is Kim Mike 84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do a leather unboxing and review the XSPC Raystorm. And this is the Chrome version actually. They finally made a Intel one. This is, you can still use it for AMD. You just got to get the bracket and I like this. This looks really killer. Man, that looks pretty good. Now let's get this going. Um, this looks like the original one and the co copper one. I don't know if I'm gonna do this, but let's see. just looks like the the original one, and the chrome, actually the copper version. And the AMD user here, I'll do a PDF file in the description below. Anyway. Anyway, you, you get a lot of accessories. You get a 2011 M4 screws ready to go right off the bat. Let's see. You actually get the mounting screws for the actual uh, LGA 775, 1155, 1156, and uh, 1366. This is a 775, 1366, 2011, the screws, and the 1156, 1155. And you get thermal compound with it. Now, let's show you the very beautiful Raystorm uh, Chrome. So pretty much this one changes everything what it looks like. It's between a copper version and a regular uh, plexi nickel play, uh, race storm is so pretty much is chromed out. Looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna open it. Just keep it in the packaging. So pretty much you actually get the actual plate around instead of being brass uh, black with a little bit of anodized silver in it. The whole thing is actually black. No, it's just giving chrome. The actual housing that holds it in is actually instead of being silver, like the end uh, the copper version, it's actually black. It's painted. You can tell. And the whole housing, the actual mounting plate, the this is still just like the original Raystorm. And you actually get some threads to remove it. And the whole plate is me it's uh, plated chrome. It makes it look really really nice um, I would for people who want to keep it chrome I will probably remove the actual aluminum mounting system the actual part that mounts it down and I would just get myself a, a plexi acrylic and put on um, we actually do sell that two separately and actually mount that and you can put your your actual LED lights if you want three millimeter right here and here on the side or just keep it like this. It's pretty much up to you. What do you want to do? Or you get a, 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 a instead of being the um, the silver one, you will paint it your own way. So there's so much, so much ways to do it too. And if you want to use this chrome one, you could remove it and get an AMD one. But the, that's only a, available on the acrylic on all that. So all right, guys. This is Kim Like Eighty Four. See you guys a little bit later. And you guys hit the like button. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment, all right, down below. There you guys, just come like it. All right, you guys, just come like 84 here, back again. Pretty much, we're gonna do a leather unboxing and review of this is an XSPC Race Storm, and this one's actually different. Actually, is the copper edition, it's only an Intel um, version, and I actually have this item separately. This is the Race Storm Intel aluminum bracket. Let's put that aside. A little bit the difference between the aluminum version. I'm gonna put this the CPU manual. I did unboxing a bit already, but We'll do it. Here it is.
Okay, this is the aluminum version. Here is for the, the mounting screws for the 1155, 1366, 1156, and 775. These are the ones. Okay, this is obvious right here is for the 2011 M4 screws. Those are M6. Anyway, yeah, M6 screws, these are M4s. Uh, use these and use the part of that mount together and that's it. This little thing how to put them on together. You can, I'll put a link description to that. Thermal compound. The bracket. That is for uh, 1155, 1156, 775, and uh, 1366. And for 2011, you don't need it because it comes out already with that already. Uh, you don't need a bracket because it's already built into it. Hold on a second. Gonna open it, it's quite obvious you see it from there to protect the item. So, pretty much, this is the copper version. So, the whole thing is made out of copper, it is heavy as hell for this versus the having the regular one, the plastic one, and the non full copper version because the whole thing is copper. The other part on top of here of the it's actually nickel plated and this is full copper so it costs a lot more right now and you have still have the the bracket that's a bracket the XSPC bracket you flip it upside down it'll be a silver or black version and you have the back plate right here is actually aluminum so it looks a lot more solid and actually we have it here we actually have it too I'm put the link description too about it we have about 10 of these they're pretty nice very lightweight, but when you put it together, it's pretty heavy. What it is, so it's pretty nice. So, um, to be honest, if you guys want to do something different, I would recommend getting this, getting the acrylic version of it, and put the blues will be a lot lighter. All right, you guys. See you guys a little bit later. So you guys hit the like button, you guys, if you have any questions about this, it's pretty good, it's a very, it, it is a good, a good buy for this, if you guys want to do full copper version, and I've seen, um, Bill Owens on this too, alright you guys, hit the like button, you guys, see you guys a little bit later, just go on my kitty for